Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about quantum confinement. What is quantum confinement? Why it is important in nanomaterials? This is going to be the discussion here. What is being confined in quantum confinement? This is the first question that we should have. Quantum confinement is nothing but The fundamental effects that appears in nanomaterials because the free electrons in that particular material get confined because of the size reduction that occurs in nanomaterials. So, quantum confinement is nothing but it is one of the size effects in quantum. Systems. So, any nanomaterial is a quantum system and therefore any quantum effects such as size effect is going to play a vital role in affecting the properties of the nanomaterials. Right. Now, what is the difference between a bulk material and a nanomaterial and why quantum confinement is effective only in nanomaterials which have reduced size right the bulk solid generally the material is going to be a polycrystalline material that is it is going to have what is called a grain structure so how do we depict it pictorially the grain structure can be depicted like this now each region of this bulk material is a grain. That is, the bulk material is composed of several grains and separated by what are called grain boundaries. Now when I say that this material is a bulk material, that means this is not a nano material. So we are contrasting here a bulk material and a nano material. So any normal material is a bulk material and the structure, the grain structure of the material is generally something like this. Now the size of the material is generally one can assume from a few millimeters to a few centimeters are larger than that. Such materials are generally termed as bulk materials. Now compare this with a nano material. Nano material as we know have what is called size reduction. That means the material could be appearing to be like a bulk material but the grain structure is very 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 small size reduced. So when we talk about such a material which has a smaller size compared to the bulk material, the material is made up of not several grains but one or two grains max. So such a material will have a very interesting grain structure let us say. For this particular example only two grains are present in this material. Now what happens when we go down in size from bulk to nano? Now the grain size has reduced. That means the free electrons that are present in a bulk material have a larger volume to move around. So it is all about the free electrons in the material. When the free electrons present in a bulk material they, are, they have larger space or volume to move around. 
the free electrons are not confined. Whereas, in the case of the nanomaterials, because of the size reduction and because of the lack of multitude of grains within the material, the electrons now, the free electrons present in such a material have less volume to move around or within the grain, the free electrons have less space to move around because of the reduction in size. Therefore, the free electrons here are confined. Free electrons are confined. This is what we mean by quantum confinement. Now, why is the word quantum used here? Why quantum effects at what, what stage quantum effects start dominating? There are two ways one can put this up. We can talk about, for example, de Broglie wavelength. When the size of the grain, let us say, is size of the grain, let us say, is d. When the size of the grain is comparable to the de Broglie wavelength of the moving electron, then quantum effects starts to show up. That is, de Broglie wavelength lambda must be comparable to the grain size. Under such circumstances, quantum effects start showing up. Then the electron feels that the free electron in such materials feel as though they are confined. And because of this kind of a confinement, the energy levels in this particular material get affected. For example, the band gap changes. That is, the bulk material, if the band gap is, let's say, some particular value, for the same material, when the size is reduced to nano dimensions, now the band gap is going to be wider. If you are talking in terms of discrete energy levels, if the energy levels are pretty much close by in the bulk material, when the size is reduced in the nanomaterial, the energy levels are going to spread further apart. So, these are the effects of quantum confinement. So, by confinement, what we mean is we are able to confine the free electron to a smaller volume to move around. And quantum, because the wavelength, the de Broglie wavelength is a quantum effect. And if this de Broglie wavelength matches with the grain size or the particle size in which the electron moves around, then quantum effect starts showing up. Now, why is this happening? Why it affects the energy levels in the first place? It's very interesting. We know in quantum mechanics, one of the first problems that we do is what is called a particle in a one-dimensional box. Those of you who are not very familiar with this concept, please refer to my other video on this topic, particle in a one dimensional box. In that video, we have derived the energy levels for an electron confined, for example, or any other quantum object confined in a box of dimension L. no potential inside the box, the potential is zero and outside the potential is infinite. Then for such an object, the energy level expression is n square h square by h m l square. Please, those who are not familiar with this result, please look out for the video on particle in a one dimensional box in my channel. Please look out for this video. Here we can clearly see that n is a quantum number h is the Planck's constant, 8, m is the mass of the particle that is confined within this one dimensional box, and l is the length or dimension of the box. Now if we expand or express the same thing in 3D 
three dimensions also this relationship is still valid this relation is still valid for a even a three dimensional box therefore our grain that is confining the electron is something like a box so electron is confined in a box it is in one dimension or three dimension here similarly in a nanostructure in a nanomaterial the electron is confined to a smaller and smaller space or volume like it is being confined in a box one dimension or three dimensional box depending on the nanostructure there are one dimensional two dimensional or three dimensional nanostructures so if we talk about a three dimensional nanostructure that is similar to confining the electron in a three dimensional box so when an electron is confined in a box then we can see that the energy levels are quantized or discretized when the energy levels are quantized or discretized the levels are getting separated out that is what is happening when i say that the band gap in a bulk material and the nano material can be compared and the band gap is going to be widening in the nano material because of size reduction so this is one of the very important effects of quantum confinement the moment we say the band gap is changing we are very certain that this is a very important factor in semiconducting materials semiconducting materials for example in nano sizes they are synthesized particularly if the dimensions are in the order of a few tens of uh, nanometers or even less then we call those semiconducting particles as quantum dots such semiconducting particles are called quantum dots which have lot of applications in electronics because semiconductors behave very interestingly in size reduction when size is reduced because of the variation in the band gap the semiconducting materials are going to have very interesting optical properties so it is the optical properties that are going to get easily affected not only just the electrical properties or the mechanical properties but also the optical properties of the semiconducting material are going to get affected drastically therefore the emission and absorption properties are going to vary therefore one can tune the emission and absorption properties of any semiconducting materials by tuning the band gap and the band gap can be tuned in the nano level at the nano level by doing size manipulation size reduction thereby leading to very interesting properties because the electron is now confined to small and smaller volume even the electrical properties are going to get drastically affected because of the size reduction so this is one of the fundamental effects that one sees when there is size reduction and in nano materials this is a very very important factor to consider